all those people. We're excited about this class. In our evaluation system, in our, in our system, this is uh, uh, significantly uh, higher level uh, total re recruits that we've had since that we've been here. I don't know about anybody else's system, but ours, uh, that's, that's the way ours reads. And uh, we're, we're excited about that. We've worked hard. I think the consistency of, of winning has been important. Um, you know, we've averaged nine wins in the last five years. I think BCS games, I think we're 15th winningest team in the nation in the last five years, the third winningest team in the in the Big, the big 12 in the last five years. And so I, see, I think the consistency of winning our program and also the, the, the great results we're having academically with our student athletes make Missouri a place where a lot of kids look at now, more so than what it did obviously five, six, seven, eight years ago. So I think all those are, are certainly positive. Um, you know, counting counting the player that we signed in Kansas and ones that we signed in Illinois, uh, you know, uh, which we consider in-state for us in the greater St. Louis, uh, Kansas City metropolitan areas, um, thought we did a good job in the state of Missouri also, which is which is our lifeblood, and, and we all know that. Uh, we 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 reached out to, to different, maybe more states than we've done in the past, and that's just because you know we're you know we're. Um, you know, I think for kids that are interested in, in Mizzou, they contact us, they get a hold of us now, they look at us. A lot that we did sign did too, but um, I think that's significantly different as, as, as we're building our football program. So uh, we're excited about our class. Uh, I think that um, we got, I think you hit on the, the athleticism, you hit on the speed, which we always recruit. Uh, I think we have a lot of quality people in this, in this staff. Uh, and. Uh, Kids that I think really, uh, you know, want to want to be great football players, graduate from college, and, and help the zoo win, and, and hopefully take us to higher levels as, as we continue to go. And uh, uh, certainly, uh, hats off my staff who's done a great job working working these past uh, past 13, 14 months. Gary, I know you always talk about specific uh, numbers of each position. Obviously, defensive backfield was was an area you really wanted to emphasize in this class. And you get about what you set out to get there? I think we hit our numbers really everywhere we want to hit. What, what, what you do is you have a minimum number that you want to make sure that you hit in, in all your positions, whatever that number is. For every year it's a little bit different. And then and, and you, you got to hit certain numbers. And, and not, do you always hit them? No. You generally get close, yes. And then what we do is we have three or four or five athletic spots. And in other words, we will maybe go into these, these high-level players and put them about anywhere we can. And that leaves us open to, you know, to you know, for the quality of recruit that, that, that's, that's, you know, still out there, you know, in the middle of December and January, gives you an opportunity to uh, to have space available. Uh, but I think I feel pretty good about that. As you all know, uh, you know, you might have a guy, at, at, you know, at, at a position that he might outgrow a position, he might eventually move to another position. Uh, so it not always does it you know, does it appear that you know a defensive back, a defensive back, a receiver, or, or really any position. But uh, for the most part, we felt we hit our numbers there. Gary, and by the same token, the early list had a couple of guys listed as athletes. Your all's list is that defensive back. Um, the uh, how how much was that need driven over the, because of the last two years? Uh, it, it it's just driven based on just recruiting numbers, not based on anything else but that. You have numbers you want to hit. And, and you have balance how you hit your numbers. And I know body language says that you don't like that answer, but it's true. So, uh, I don't understand. You got to get a little better. We got to get a little bit better. Well, it's just facts. I mean, well, no, I just don't understand. I mean, it's recruiting balance. Well, my point is you can sit there and say, well, you got a trouble at any position. What's the offensive line? You can recruit 32 of them to fill it, but then you're going to be hurt somewhere else. You can't do that. You can't just all of a sudden say we're going to load up and take you know, four extra guys in this particular spot. And then, by the way, we didn't sign enough receivers, we didn't sign enough offensive linemen, we didn't sign enough uh, uh, defensive ends. And so, you know, it's real important that we that we hit the hit the balance stage, and uh, and I think that uh, in the, that we did, and, and feel very good about that. Here, how big was it to, to not only get two quarterbacks, but get the two that you got, and to have them on campus early? Yeah, you know, we have four players on campus right now, and certainly, uh, you, know, you know, those two guys are, you know, they're they're very talented. And it was, uh, I, think it's, I think what you see there is you you, you see two uh, 
uh, you see the, su the success we were having with quarterbacks, and I, and I think that's what you see there a little bit. I think when you see Brad Smith play, when you see Chase Daniels, um, both of them on NFL rosters, and, and play them, and, uh, and then when, when you see Blaine doing some good things, I think that uh, again, there's a consistency of, of a position, for example, that, that we've had great success with. And that's what kids do. You know, you know, good quarterbacks like these two guys are. You know, they're. Um, it's, it's a very appealing, uh, certainly very competitive. That's good. That's what it's supposed to be. But uh, you know, certainly having on campus is, is huge. Anytime you get, especially at that position, but really any position gives you an edge in terms of learning the system. Coach, you got nine players from, from Texas this recruiting class. So how much of that had to do with uh, playing four straight bowl games in the state of Texas? Well, I, I think you know we've done a. We've done a good job in Texas. Uh, you know, I think it's, uh, you know, I think it's, you know, documented just because of pure numbers. There's a lot of numbers down there, and um, you know, I think that all those things are. You know, it's Big 12 country. We've had a lot of players that have come uh, from the state of Texas, come to University of Missouri, have graduated from University of Missouri. They've got drafted. They're playing the NFL. They leave with their degree. They've had success. They've won. They're going to bowls. And so I think it's another alternative, and, and more so than it's ever been. And so uh, I think all those things, and you know, sort of the bowl games down there, that I think uh, they'll lend themselves to market the University of Missouri. Uh, so I think all those things uh, have a lot to do with that. So is this the earliest that you can remember that you had the entire class in? I mean, it was, you had the entire class in before some people woke up. Yeah, it's uh, it was in you know, prior to Christmas, right around there, and and uh, you know that's hold on the best you can as everybody does. But but there's no question uh, it was it's the earliest we've had everybody committed. Uh, we were still scrambling at the end to try to fill a position. I think we all have done that recruiting almost every year. Maybe you're shy at a spot that you think, well, we got to get a player here, a player here, and then you almost kind of go back out and look to make sure that you know is there somebody out there we can you know maybe take a chance on late. But we didn't we didn't do that. We didn't have to do that at all. It was uh, 